It's not clickbait, lads. I'm going to play this clip about Project Xanavis. Could this be the end of RuneScape Private Servers, or could this mean that there's a massive influx of players that are going to now start showing interest in RuneScape Private Servers from a man who's been on both sides of the coin? I think you're going to enjoy this, lads. It's exciting. It's very, very exciting time. So I'm going to shut up talking and play the clip. Last year, we included a question in our annual survey on custom servers for old school RuneScape. After a very promising reception, we're ready to announce this semi-secret project. Old School RuneScape Community Servers. Before we dive any deeper, you can relax in knowing that this project has a new dedicated team, meaning that the OSRSJ mods can continue smashing out amazing content for the game. That said, let's introduce you to one of those new faces. Hi, I'm Mod Toom, and I'm a senior technical designer here at Jagex. The idea for community servers is one we've been toying around with for some time, and we're so excited to finally confirm that they're in development. For the unaware, Community servers will let you host or join a custom-made server where you make the rules. Hate the idea of trading? Then get rid of it. Want to mess around with how much damage you deal or take? Go right ahead. Or maybe you feel like you really resonate with one area of Gilanor in particular. Then lock the world to only Mauritania. Recreate your favorite game modes or invent new ones. Your world can be exactly what you want it to be with whoever you want. Just a small group of friends or open it up to the community. The choice really is yours. Ultimately, we want this to be a place for players to jump in to create and share their own old school RuneScape experiences. Right now, our focus is on tweaking and modifying the parameters that already exist in the game. However, this is just the beginning. Community servers are the first step in giving you more control over your old school experiences. Our goal is to eventually enable you to develop your own creations and share those with the wider community. Now, this is a huge undertaking from the team. So while we continue to work on this in the background, we want to focus on delivering our initial phase of the community servers and giving you a first look at our vision. In terms of what's next, alongside internal playtests, we want to get lots of you involved over the course of our development. To keep the spirit of old school alive with this project, making something for you, with you. For now, you'll hear us refer to this as Project Xanaris, while we continue in development with your guidance and support. We hope to make this a truly special addition to an otherwise amazing community and hope that you'll work with us to make it the best it can be. And we want to start soon by opening a new channel within the Discord so we can hear more about your thoughts and ideas for Project Xanaris. We know you'll have many questions and we'll answer them when we can at various stages of development. For now, please take a look at the current FAQ on our channels and expect more updates soon. Thank you all so much for your time and we can't wait to get you involved. Wow, this is some serious big boy shit, guys. I'm not even trolling. Like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm not seeing this one coming. I'm gonna be honest, honestly, lads. Well, what does this mean? Like, <laughs> very, very exciting to say the least. There's many factors that I do just want to sort of talk about since we're here. Number one, how is this going to affect normal RuneScape? I.e., for example, is this going to be the nails in the coffin for the wilderness? Because, quite frankly, it is already clinging on to dear life. It is a bit of a ghost town out there. There's so many worlds. There's slack of PKers. And there's a shitload of bots. Reality of things, does this mean that someone's going to make a sick little PK server on RuneScape's official list and all the PKers are going to go there and it's going to absolutely pop off? Meaning that the, the wilderness is now pk -less, you know? And then was, the other flip, flip side of the coin is, is obviously all these years of Jaggers have been trying to battle servers, shutting them down and everything. They're sort of pretty much giving up at this stage. Is this their Uno Reverso coin flip on the private servers to say, look, we can't beat you, but I tell you what we're going to do is we're going to do a better job than you and we're just going to wipe you out. But then the other flip side to that flip side could be by doing this, People are now might go, oh, I actually quite like these servers. I'm gonna have a little Google search and see see what's online, and then the illegal private servers will grow. 
So it's so much that could potentially happen from the from this update because it's absolutely huge. It really is, and it's really really exciting. But like I say, let me know in the comments what your thoughts on this whole situation is, boys. And um, I think what it comes down to is a how good of a job are these servers going to be, and b how is this going to affect the game? Because there's lots of conspiracy. Like obviously at the end of the day, they've said nothing about the developers getting paid here. So like obviously like. Some people make plugins, etc., etc., for RuneScape because they love it. But actually, you owning a server, running a server, and that you are going to need some monetary gain out of it because it's going to saturate all your time. So, like, uh, are you going to go into business with Jagex? Essentially, quite frankly, regardless of that outcome, that is above my head. I'm just going to be playing them, not owning them, and uh, it's very, very exciting, guys. So, like I say, let me know in the comments what everybody thinks about this because I'd love to see what you have to say.